what's going on guys as you can see I'm 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 installing the yellow dyno line I got yesterday we're going to run it and I figured I'd show a few guys you know, that have never changed the line on their winch it's how simple it is but you basically just unwind all of your winch line you'll see that there's actually an allen screw to loosen to get the line to come out after you've unwound it then you just pull it straight out of the hole that's on the winch tube so then you just feed the new one through once you've done that then you tie a knot on the end of it obviously to where it doesn't come through there and then you rotate it back to the allen screw and tighten the allen screw on the line so let's see if i go the right way here let's see there it is. There's the Allen screw. I don't know if, if I can get it in here where you can see that. Let me try to do this at the same time. Try to get where I can see. So anyway, we'll tighten up the Allen screw. There we go. Nice and snug. So now basically ready to wind up all this winch tube which i ain't got a light over here sorry guys but we got quite a bit of winch line here so let me see if i can hold this and do this all at one time i got it turned pretty low let's see which way should i go in in or out i'm gonna say in will be up and out will be down so let's do it that way I'm trying to hold this till I flip the switch so I don't get no kind of let's see up will be in there we go you see how slow I got it going right now look at this you can barely tell that this is moving sorry I got my little dial here turned down yeah We'll crank it up nice and slow so I can see the wind is nice and easy. Oh, I'm not even pointing at it, so I'm horrible at videoing, I know. The way I got it hooked up on that remote, I, I got trim settings that I can just speed it up or slow it down as slow as I want. So right now I'm just doing this to make it a fairly good wrap. You can see I'm not doing the greatest job, but if we get it over here, we'll switch back to that direction. Nice. Uh, maybe I should speed it up a little more. So let me go ahead and finish what I'm doing here. Let me turn that off in a minute. So I can look good. Well, Alright, there she is. Nice and pretty. Nice little hook. Let's see if we turn these back down to where they come out slow again. Let's see, I think I got it that way for a while. Let's see. Make it nice and slow. Let me hook this to my finger. Never mind that mishap. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what we can do with this. Do I got it turned all the way up or no? Let's find out. I'm going to go full speed, full power on it. And then I can just reel it in. See which one goes first. Which one do you think is going to move? That one's gone. Until it hits the garage wall to hold it. Now we got this one moving. Let's see. Very nice. I like it. Pretty cool. Let me see if I can back it up at the same time as letting it out. That's pretty cool. Oh, 
All right. All right, check this out. I'm going to turn this dial nice and slow and just reel it in at whatever speed I want here. So turn the trim up. I want to go just a little bit. I'll go a little bit. Ease into it. A little more out of it. We'll go a little more. That's what's cool about having it hooked up to an ESC instead of a winch controller. Is you can work it just like a motor. See what I mean? It's pretty cool. Well, I'm very happy with my new winch line. And it's actually, this one, it's a little bit skinnier than the stock line, wherever I put, here we go. Because this one's probably been in water so many times. It's a little skinnier. I don't know if that means it's not as strong, but that don't matter to me because I've actually got a little more length on here now because it's not as fat in diameter. And it wound up a lot nicer on there because it's not as fat. So I think that's a good thing. And I got these wicked cool winch uh, hooks I got from KMS Winches. Those are really cool. But I kind of like that this has the little clip on there. That's the reason I'm leaving it for now. I do got the rubber thing to go on the line here too. I forgot to put that on there a minute ago. Here we go. Yeah, I got this thing. I forgot all about that. But anyway. I love that this does have these uh, trim knobs on the top to where I can turn that winch all the way off on these knobs to where when I'm driving my car, if I bump the winch knob, it's not going to burn up nothing or go haywire hanging in and out. See what I mean? That's what I like about being able to turn them off. When I'm not using it, I usually just don't turn the ESC on. But if I do have the ESC on and I'm trailing because I used my winch, I don't have to turn it back off. I can just turn the knobs down so that I don't bump it on accident because I've done that many a times. Or go just turn the car on and this switch been messed with or something on accident. So this way I can just, you know, put it on the, to reel it in and then just do the knob if I need to until I'm done. Nice and slow. I like that. And then turn the knob back off. But I always keep my keep the switch off anyway, but it's just in a bad spot that I bump it quite a bit. So let me uh what I need to do is get me a little slack here. I like how I'm turning that slow. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little rubber garment on there. Should I use that hook or this hook? Huh. I think that hook looks awful cool. But I like the safety piece on here that makes it hook on there like a bungee winch does. So, I'm not sure what I want to do with that. Let me go ahead and... Let me put my other hook on real quick. Well, alright. I needed another uh, hook anyway because my red and white and blue line here didn't have a hook. I should have put that one on there. I don't even know what I was thinking, to be honest. But anyway, yellow's good. But here's the Here's the KMS hook. And I went ahead and put the rubber garment on there. So hopefully now I can be good to go. I'm just head him up, move him out. Move him up, head him up real high. Nice and slow. Only one problem is, how am I going to hook this to look good? I could just go and hook it to the hook, huh? Keep it from tangling stuff, you think? Or hook it up here? There we go. Let's try that and then just suck her in a little bit more. That'll hold it. No, it won't. Maybe. No. I doubt it. There. That'll help. Holds it right on there. That's pretty cool, actually. I love it, love it, love it. So, thanks again, Robert from KMS Winches and Donald from Dino RC. Together, that's a pretty sweet setup.